haven't been on a paved road for hours. We're on our way to take a look at some upgraded water mills in Nepal's northern mountain region. Our destination, Copper Sagu. The village has about 2,000 residents, and most earn their living by farming, cultivating cereal crops, corn and vegetables. Mill owner Dan Badur has plenty to do in his improved facility. He tells us his old mill could only grind grain. Since CRT Nepal helped him improve its drive, he can also use four new attachments to husk rice and even press oil. I'm very satisfied. The new mill can do more and is much faster. And the quality is so good that people now come from far away for me to grind their flour in my mill. The new milling technology is manufactured in workshops like this one. Metal turbines that now replace traditional wooden water wheels and nozzles that funnel the water directly to the turbines. Simple improvements that make the mills about three times more efficient. It's just a small project, but it contributes to reducing CO2 emissions. Our efficient water mills are replacing many old diesel mills. That's environmentally friendly and saves on carbon emissions. The women in the village also profit from the new technology. Women are traditionally responsible for processing the harvest in Nepal. The new mill has changed our lives. Because it can do so much, we don't have to do everything by hand anymore. So we have more time for our children. They're especially enthusiastic about the new generator, developed just for these water mills. Mill owner Dan Badur can produce electricity with it, supplying 52 households that would otherwise have to wait for at least five years to be connected to the electricity grid. That's another reason I'm so fond of our project. I think people in the mountain villages have the same right as people in the city to benefit from modern modes of communication via radio, mobile telephones and television. And that's not just true for Nepal. The aid workers say there are many traditional water mills in mountainous regions of Afghanistan, Bhutan, India and Pakistan that could surely benefit from know-how from Nepal.